Really? Really? There's not enough mice and rodents. There, there are no, there are no rabbits here. There are no squirrels here. There, I mean, I don't know. Well, what, what are the hawks living off of, right? Uh, the fields are all poison, so there's no, oh, what we got here? Looks like Charlie. Charlie, come Charlie. Come Charlie. Look honey, look honey. Here, that's good cheese. It's very good cheese. That's good, Tomer. You love that cheese. You love that cheese, good boy. There he goes. There he goes. There goes our lovely Charlie. Okay. Wow. We'll make our way through the middle of the field. You know what's interesting is that with the Swifts, they make so much ruckus and so much noise all day long. It is unbelievable. It's a, Bryant says it's like a science fiction. I mean, they make a, a certain kind of whistling sound and it's just, it's really loud. And no one minds them swooping over the balconies and doing all this sort of thing. No one minds that. I, I guess because they're endangered. Um, but they tolerate that. It is unbelievable. And yet if the crows were to make that noise, if the crows were to behave like that, they would, they would kill each and every one of them. You know, like Gerhard Lang, the, uh, the manager of the shopping center. I'm going to kill each and every bird, right? Isn't that what Gerhard Lang said? I think so. Yeah, we got Seymour here. I got some more cashews in the car, and I'll give those out. It's really quite annoying with her dog. It's unfortunate. But see, there's you really have no control here uh, in this environment. Um, and yet the the birds gravitate here because it's the only uh, it's the only gig in town. It's the only food in town, right? I mean, these ignorant people think that there's uh, you know so many so many birds here. I mean that they have so much food here, and they don't. They absolutely don't. And here's our little here's our little Stanley. Hey Stanley. Hey Stanley. Yeah. Stanley tolerates me. I think if any other person on this field as close to him now, he would, uh, he would, uh, he would fly away. But he knows my scent, and he knows I'm okay. And how long has it been since Stanley has been coming here? At least a year or so. So, and he knows I won't hurt him. Here we have our little. Ah, oh, the pigeons are over there eating the sparrows' food. <laughs> yeah. But it looks like uh, Seymour is having a good time. And so is Stanley. Stanley's having a good time. We've got Stanley on here. Look at that. This is for you, Roy. There's your Barney. There's your Barney. Beautiful, beautiful Barney. He would never be here. There would be no mice here because the mice have something to eat, uh, eat off and live here. So, um, and there's our little Seymour. There's our little pigeons and crows. I'll throw down some more, um, some more uh, cashews for them. Oh, look at Seymour. He's go going after the crows a little bit. Look at that. He's pushing them off the little feeding station. Actually, I can get fairly close to Seymour too. Right? But I think Seymour has, um, being tagged, uh, he's used to humans, but certainly not the bad ones. He shies away from most people, at least around here. There's our little Seymour. Well, I think I'm discouraged the hawks here, but I think it's better. Look at Seymour's looking. Hey, Seymour. Hey, Seymour. Yeah, you know me. I used to throw your little grain balls to you, right? Used to throw your little grain balls to you. In fact, I have one package left. And before I leave, I will uh, throw that out. So, 
Yeah, a little bit of rain this morning. Really, I don't know what to call it. Pocket change. Okay. Um, I still don't see the malted bird. I'm really worried about him, but there are crows missing. So, uh, that's just fact. And there are little pigeons there. We have our little other bird here. Our little Stanley. Our little Barney. Who's posing on one leg. So, the bird haters, they just have to, they look and they look away. And they probably say disgusting things. Because it just, the whole scene just disgusts them. Starving birds eating food here that I put down for them. They just can't stand it. So, do you see that white car there? I don't know, can he go any faster on that road? That is a freaking idiot, really. That is terrible. I guess maybe there was a bird on the road tried to run over. That's just crazy. You can't travel that fast on that road. Crazy. Well, let's see. Let's see what we have here. I know I brought some extra, I brought some extra cashews. Here we go. Here we go. We got some extra cashews. There we go. Oh, there's, there's Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Hey, good boy. Here you go. He wants to get his own. Okay, good boy. Get your cashews. Get your cashews, Ken. Go ahead, Charlie. Uh -huh. There he goes. There goes our Charlie. Let's see where he goes now. He's not going underneath there. Stash his food there. He's going uh, up on the, which is another one of his favorite places. There he goes. So we'll throw the rest of these little cashews down and they'll get them by themselves. And overall, other than that uh, lady with the uh, dog, at least, like I say, she didn't leave him off the leash. Uh, a dog, a person, uh, who, uh, a dog owner who hates birds would have let their dog off the leash, okay? Even though that's illegal. But we all know that the bird haters all do illegal things. Um, I work within the framework of the law, but, uh, but they don't. Wow, that's really awesome. I'm afraid, Jeremy, it was just too much going on here today with uh, Stanley here and me on the field. Probably I was a deterrent today to poor Jeremy. Um, but uh, I didn't make a huge portion uh, tonight. Uh, there were a lot of nuts in there. I guess I had six eggs in there, a little sausage, a little bit of cheese, uh, but, uh, and a lot of nuts and uh, some muesli. And of course, green. But you see the pigeons all uh, piled up there, clustered. That's where I threw down their uh, their grain, not in its normal place. There's a uh, Stanley. It's like he's hunting there, but somehow he doesn't seem to be bothered so much by the uh, cars going by, but just the people and the dogs. So there's one of our little bird lovers there on the sidewalk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there he goes. He, he may have something. Stanley may have something in the hole. Look, it looks like he was trying to get something there. Wow. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. There, YouTubers. He has, a, he has a mouse. He has a mouse. Stanley has a mouse. There he goes. Stanley has a mouse. Look at that. Stanley has a mouse. We got it on video. We got it on GoPro. Look at that. Well, there are a number of mice here because there's always food available. Look at that. This is what he does. He's holding it, then he shakes it, and he makes sure it's dead, 
and then he swallows it. But it's very, very hard to get that on video. There we go. Look at that. Wow. There's Stanley. There's Stanley with his little trophy. Poor little mouse. Poor little mouse. I know Anita will probably hate this. There he goes. Now he's going to swallow it. The whole, the whole thing whole. And that'll last. You won't see Stanley for a few days. That'll last him a little bit. But... <laughs> Is that something? Look at that. Now he's got it and he's going to swallow it down. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's not easy to catch on video, but we got it. DC Danton has it. Crow Crusader has it. I figure he was very, very... That's why I didn't want to go near uh, that little area with the you know, where I normally throw the grain. Because that's probably, that little area is where the uh, mice like to go. There he goes, now he's taking off. There he goes. He's taking off probably to go down to the lake. Probably needs some water. There he goes, well he got his catch. He got his catch. So, this is DC Danton Crow Crusader. I believe that's Charlie just landed on the field. He's giving the, uh, feeding call. Now he's flying away. Somebody saw that he didn't like um, they all the birds